the town's done a lot in terms of uh, <coughs> coastal resilience um, and uh, has developed a coastal resource management plan. Um, this uh, process, this project is very consistent with a, a lot of the priorities that have been identified um, by the residents for the community. Um, and, uh, you know, our landings are, are really our, um, you know, some of our most frequented places, both by residents and by visitors. And so I know there have been, there's been a lot of interest in this project, uh, a lot of questions from folks, uh, which starts a conversation about the, the benefits uh, of the work being done here. It started in a kind of an off-based way because the town administrator asked me to consider paving Crosby Lane. And my first observation of it was that it had an ancient culvert under it. And we would probably want to deal with the culvert first before we dealt with the road. You need a good design firm that has experience with projects like this. We chose Horsley Whitten for that reason. We had a lot of experience with them in a lot of Cape Towns, and they had done projects for the town of Brewster previously. We have uh, raised the height of the road by about a foot and a half over what it was previously to be protective for sea level rise impacts. We modeled flow through the system to arrive at this five foot by five foot box culvert to replace that former 18 inch wide um, iron pipe that was here. So a big, big, big increase in size that allows full tidal flow from one side to the other. The bioretention system behind me is uh, gathering stormwater off both the parking lot over my left shoulder and the roadway coming down from my right shoulder and treating it through four bays. You can see this small bit of, we call this drivable grass, that, that white concrete looking stuff. Um, so that drops out the heavy particles first. The water then overflows that spillway into the actual bioretention cell, which is the flat area with the uh, salt grass grass pumping out of it. That will um, treat the water both through infiltration through the ground and through biological processes before overflowing back into the salt marsh again. This project's been very interesting to us here at the Crosby Culvert. Uh, we've been kicking this idea around for quite a while. We've had a few others in town that we've uh, fixed, but this one's kind of unique because it's at the upper headwaters of Namskakit Marsh. Namskakit is an area of critical environmental concern designated by both the town of Brewster and Orleans because of its unique features and wildlife and habitat values. When you do a project like this, you you really need to have good synergy between the designer, the owner, being the town, and the contractor. And in this case, we were really fortunate because we had a local contractor that was you know, ambitious and wanted to pursue some other work. And so a company called MCE Dirtworks was the low bidder. This team has been fantastic throughout. Everyone from the town side, from the contractor at Dirtworks, from all of the funding agencies at NRCS and Cape Cod Conservation District, uh, Association to Preserve Cape Cod, helping out with the monitoring pre and post. Everyone is really into this and, and the project has come out fantastic. 